Hello all and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. Before we start, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and kindly leave a comment and share the video. So this midweek analysis video is usually like a follow up of the signals which I have sent here last Saturday on the weekly analysis video. So as usual, let's now begin with the Euro USD. So as you can see, I have sent a signal to sell the Euro USD from 1.118 and it was really a good signal it just went in around 23 uh, pips of loss before finally hit the take profit level of 86 pips congratulations for those who have taken this signal and please share with us in the comments what do you think about it and if you have taken it and made any profits please let everyone to know about it so what's next with the euro usd that's the question now based on the daily chart we can see here a very clear double top pattern has been completed as you can see and right now the euro usd is definitely going to continue the fall most likely it's going to continue the fall at least to reach the, the real level of a support right here at 1.102 so let me just highlight here our take profit level for the next level uh the pair still has around uh 42 pips more to go but for sure it's gonna make a pullback right now because right now it's reversing upon the pressure of the current support trend line that we have right here so right now we can see here that we have a channel on the euro usd let me just squeeze the chart like this or lowering the price scale so what i would like to, sh to show you right here uh based on the daily chart is this level of a resistance trend line as we can see like that fantastic so right here what we have in total is a real level of a resistance trend line has been respected after the bullish breakout happened right here became also a support trend line and then another support trend line and finally here we have the final bearish breakout candle appeared so that means that the euro usd has a potential to continue the rise to reach the same level of a real resistance trend line and after that it will continue the fall toward our uh, original take profit level at 1.102 so that being said let's right now move back to the four hour time frame and right here i would like to highlight actually our take profit level which was right here exactly exactly right there at 1.109 that was our take profit take profit level from the old signal and that is going to be our next entry for the new signal therefore we are actually aiming around uh 70 pips profit from this signal and in this scenario the safe zone shouldn't actually be ranging higher than the previous level of a broken support right here exactly at 1.112 and therefore our uh, safe zone is going to be ranging to around 32 pips only against 70 pips of profit that's everything for this pair let's now move to the pound usd pound usd was also a fantastic signal it was really perfect one and i'm so happy for it and are you happy i'm actually i'm more happy for those who have taken it of course uh the euro usd actually was running in around uh 27 pips of loss before finally hit our take profit level making over 122 pips of profit again congratulations for those who have taken it and please share with us in the comments what do you think and if you took it let everybody to know the quality of extreme trader signals so it was indeed a very good one and i'm just grateful for it so what's next right now with the pound usd that's the question now based on the weekly chart again we have here a very strong bearish movement and right now if i just squeeze the chart like this now what we can see right here of course is a real level of a support trend line being respected check this out so in total we, what we have right here is a real level of a support trend line then one fake breakout happened right here and then the market actually has respected the same level of a real support trend line again interesting it means that the pound usd right now most likely after being rejected from the uh, bullish breakout from the resistance at 1.341 it's going to continue the fall toward that level of a support ring line then after that we don't care what will gonna happen most likely it's gonna make a bearish breakout from it or a bullish reversal we don't know as long as we are going to trade this level of a uh, continuation of the fall so therefore we are looking to short the pound usd to another uh, around 137 pips and let me just highlight that our next uh, potential take profit level initially will be right here at this level of the nearest level of a support right here exactly at 1.315 that is initially our take profit level however let's right now move to the four hour time frame now based on the four hour time frame and if we uh, apply the Fibonacci retracement 
Now we can see that the pair is actually ranging exactly at Fibonacci 38.2 at uh, the previous level of a broken resistance right here, which was also a support. So we already have here a support number one, and right now the market is creating support number two. So that means that we can expect right now a pullback, and most likely the best level to start shorting the pound USD again will be of course at Fibonacci 23.6 at 1.222, which was in the past also a resistance. And if that happens, or if the market gonna make a bearish reversal, that's gonna be good news because we will end up with head and shoulders pattern, which confirms that the pound USD will continue the fall. That being said, let's wait for the spear to rise to another uh, 52 pips. Actually, this is a lot, I know, but uh, um, this is what the setup is giving us. Actually, we can even make it a little bit uh, sooner than that. I mean, Fibonacci is actually exactly at 1.333, but uh, if you would like to see the price action, we have here the broken level of a key support, which was also a resistance. So therefore, we are going to short the pound USD exactly right here at 1.331, expecting a small drawdown just till the Fibonacci 23.6 before that uh, the market starts the fall. So I think it's going to be a good signal. Uh, we have to wait for the market to rise to another 37 pips, targeting around 150, actually 160 pips of profit. And the safe zone this time that shouldn't be ranging higher than the peak of the previous, uh, sorry, the bottom of the support exactly right here. Let me just uh, zoom in to show it to you. Right here, uh, the safe zone should not actually exceed this level of a previous support at 1.337. So therefore, our safe zone will be ranging for around 57 pips only against 158 pips of profit. That's everything for the pound USD. Let's now move to the AUD USD. Another great signal from Extreme Trader. This was really a good one. Um, AUD USD has actually reversed uh, from, uh, let me just make sure, uh, 30th of September, yes. Uh, it actually went in around 20 three pips of loss before finally go back in profit in total of 62 pips of profit and currently 38 pips of profit again very good signal and i hope it's going to continue this way but now what's next with this pair actually not much the AUD USD surely will continue the fall after checking the, the, the daily chart this uh, pattern or this price action surely confirms a continuation in the fall and if we check right now the four hour time frame we also have right here let me just remove the sell what we can see right here is just like a mini price action of the head and shoulders. It's not really counted like that, but I mean, uh, the pattern says so. And right now we have here also, of course, in total a head and shoulder. So the AUD USD actually has a potential to rise again to reach that level of a resistance. And if it reverses on it, first of all, we will have a completed head and shoulders pattern, plus, of course, a continuation in the fall toward our take profit level. So therefore, um, AUD UC signal is um, going to be a good signal, hopefully, of course. But however, I would recommend to to actually resell the I, um, AUD UST exactly right here as 0 0.693, sorry, 0 0.690, sorry. And a safe zone that shouldn't actually be ranging higher than the peak of the real resistance right there exactly. And sell exactly as 0 0.690. Let me just fix the number and our take profit level just remains the same. So, so therefore, our safe zone ranges to around 30 pips only, and we're looking to around 77 pips of profit. That's gonna be everything for this signal. Let's now move to the USD CAD. So USD CAD actually was really a good signal, and it has reversed exactly from the given price of the buy at 1.349. However, uh, it went in around uh, 47 pips of profit before finally goes back uh, to the entry. And this signal, my friends, is going to remain the same. We are still looking for the market to reverse exactly at this level of a previous support. So therefore, this signal just simply remains the same. That's everything for this pair. Let's now move to the USD GPY. So USD GPY signal unfortunately has failed after almost being activated. Uh, it was actually reversed almost right here. So it has almost been activated, but unfortunately hasn't been. And went in around uh, 128 pips. If only my entry was just three pips sooner. What a bummer! However, this signal has officially failed, of course. So now, uh, uh, however, what's next with the USCGPY? This pair really confuses me. Since we brought it back to the channel, um, it actually has failed uh, two analysis in a row. So I really hope this one is going to be a winner this time. So right now, the daily chart here shows us right here, of course, um, 
a strong level of a support as we can see right now. So we can say that the USDJPY right now is facing a lot of pressure on this level of a support. Even if we check right now the weekly chart, the pair is still facing right here a strong level of a key support as well. And remarkably, this was of course a real level of a support. Because right here we have of course the fake breakout, and however here we have the real level of a support level. So right now what we can see right here is that of course I have highlighted that this was of course the real level of the support. And this level is the one that has been respected as we can see. So we have here a fake breakout and a real level of a support has been respected. So if we look at this pattern on the weekly chart, we have ended up with inverted head and shoulders pattern indicates that the USGPY should continue the rise. Not to mention of course the final price action right here on the weekly chart. Uh, once we see this candle appeared on the weekly chart on a support level, it usually confirms that the pair will continue the rise. So, uh, most likely right now the USGPY is going to continue the bullish reversal. I don't know how did I miss seeing that on the weekly analysis. However, uh, let's now go, go back to the daily chart. So right now we have confirmed that we are looking of course at a real level of a support right here exactly at one uh, 142.065 however where exactly is the, is the next level where we can re short sorry re buy the USGPY? let's go however to the four hour time frame and here i would like to apply right now the fibonacci retracement so as we can see right now uh the real level of a support has been highlighted as 23.6 exactly at 142.0 uh, uh, sorry 065 which i have highlighted also as a real level of a support so therefore the usgpy right now is ranging at 38.2 so where exactly we can rebuy this pair again most likely it will continue to be ranging exactly at this level of a support right here before finally uh, continue the rise so that being said i would actually highlight that we can rebuy this pair exactly right here at the level of a real support at 143.161 when the pair is ranging at the Fibonacci 38.2 and after that will continue the rise and this time our take profit level is going to be at Fibonacci 61.8 or a little bit sooner so that being said I would like to uh, buy the USGPY exactly right here and a safe zone that shouldn't be ranging lower than the previous level of a real support sorry uh, a resistance right here exactly this was the real level of a resistance, the broken one, and the Fibonacci retracement will be ranging exactly right on it, exactly right here. However, for the take profit level, it's going, it's going to be, uh, let's make it Fibonacci 50, a little bit higher, at 144.664. So by that, we're actually uh, expecting a safe zone of 70 pips against 150 uh, 50 pips of profit. And that's going to be everything, my friends, for the midweek analysis, because we did not make any analysis on the USCHF, of course, and the gold, uh, unfortunately, has failed. However, I will do the best I can to follow up uh, with another video on the gold. So, however, that's going to be everything for the midweek analysis. And I really hope the remaining days of this week will be profitable to everybody in extreme trader. And of course, don't forget to join our free group of Telegram to receive any updates about these signals. For example, here for the gold, I have sent yesterday an update to close it in 80 pips of loss. And those who didn't join the group, they had to face the big loss of around uh, 180 pips. So thankfully, in Extreme Trader, we were actually able to close it in a smaller loss than that. And of course, you can get to join our free uh, our VIP group of Telegram to receive these signals. Um, I think this week so far we have around uh, 100 pips of profit, but sadly yesterday was not really the best day. I, I have to admit that. But however, Monday was really a very good day, and we will post the results later. So until then, my friends, I hope uh, that was informative to you, and I would like to thank you for watching.